This gorgeous terrace in Seletar Hills, District 28 was rebuilt to four storeys and extensively renovated in 2020 with an interior design budget closing into half a million dollars. 2,110 square feet land, 5,800 square feet build-up, six beds, six baths, rooftop pool, private lift, outdoor terrace, wide frontage that parks two cars for just $5.8 million. So here's the full rundown of the property. Developed by Goodland Development, it was completed in the year 2020. It's in District 28, Salita Hills on Lilac Drive, just off Yu Chugang Road, in the Lilac Park Estate that's zoned three-story mixed landed. So our owners bought this directly from the developers and carried out a meticulous interior design project. So today, it's 5,800 square feet, comes with six bedrooms, six baths, helper room, helper's bath, and a powder room on level one for everyone. So let me orientate you through the landscape first. Here you see this hilltop terrace plot has a 6.7 meter wide frontage by a 28 meter and 29.5 meter length by the side. So we're gonna start off on the rooftop terrace and this is the rear facing one. So this is up on the attic level. We're facing out into the Northwest. This is the highest point of Lilac Drive. And you can see that we are just above the canopy of roofs over here. You'll see that majority of the roofs are these kind of pagoda shaped roofs that were built by Bukit Sembawang in the 1990s where they were originally constructed. All these was built back then. In the far, you can see a little bit of construction and that's actually the new cluster of landed also by Bukit Sambawang. It's called Poland, which is 99 year lease. Then further down, you can even see ITE Central and that's College Central. So if you're going down this way, then this is Begonia, Soraka and all the huge landed homes. So over here, our owners have put in the outdoor area that is piping for hosing. So if you want to do a little bit of outdoor gardening you can then let's step into the beautiful family room on the attic level if we'll close up the doors over here and you'll find that our owners have been meticulous in doing a prevention of bugs and lizards from coming in so you have this kind of mesh door that is a layer outside of protection then you've got fascina doors that close up and really block out all the sound over here. There are two layers. This one is a side entry to the outdoor patio. Close that up, voila, no sound. Fantastic. You've got lovely timber strips running through, which is the flooring over here. And our owner has enclosed this whole space with glass panels just like this to enclose the space. So if you're putting in the ACs on a nice warm day, then you'll find that it's very, very beautifully done. You even have sliding windows over here that you can close this up. And this is really for the entryway in to the air well that provides ventilation and light all the way through into the home. So if we're going out to the front terrace over here, we're stepping out into more outdoor and these are wood look-alike tiles that have been paved over here. You've got an outdoor hangout area. Our owner has placed a outdoor dining table and chairs. Then the step up over here will bring you into this lovely pool and you can really rest and relax and enjoy this with your family in a beautiful night sky because you're facing out here is the southeast, that means you've got the morning sun coming through and this is well above all your neighbours over here because this is the highest vantage point on this hill over here. If you're looking diagonally over there, that is Lux's Hill already. Now let's go and see level 3. So we're going down now via these stairs into level 3 and you'll find that because this is all glass and you've got beautiful glass panels, sliding doors from the front, from the side, from the back, You've got natural light just pouring through. And right now we're coming into level three and there are one bedroom in the front, two bedrooms to the rear. Let's go into this one first. So this room over here was set up as a dance studio for the daughter. And this is one room that's very versatile. You can obviously retain it as a gym room, as a dance studio if you like, or you can easily convert it back into a full-on bedroom because you have carpentry already put in for you over here. And then you'll find that our owners have meticulously put in this magnetic screen over here. So these are really just magnets lining the frame of the windows. And this will prevent you from having any pests coming in. Then we're going into this room to the left over here. So when you're coming into this room, you're immediately facing the wardrobe space. So they've kind of created an L-shaped wardrobe over here. And as you come into the bathroom, you'll see that it's beautifully fitted with this marble look-alike tiles. They're very, very designer friendly because you've got this granite black countertop over here. 
mirror with cabinet, then you've got sanitary fittings which are American standard, then you've also got German brands like Steinberg where you have your sink and you have the shower head over there then windows for ventilation you've got the magnetic buck screen to cover as well then we're coming back into the bedroom you've already got a dresser space over here with mirror you've got the vanity counter over here you've got drawers that just open up all the way below and then above head in storage across here you've got more wardrobe space and then you've got a tempered tinted glass frame over here display then you have the same thing going just right across here with another display nook right in the middle then you've got an extension into a study counter over here shelving for your books and then similarly you've got the magnetic screens over here windows are opening out now for ventilation you've got enough space for this single bed over here if you really wanted to you can actually break down this wall and expand this into a huge bedroom and combine the dance room just across now let's go across the hallway i want to show you what the owners have done and this is actually very beautiful architecture by the developers you can see you've got natural light streaming through this way right then to the left over here is also a air well that enables natural light to come through the common problem with inter terraces is this part is usually dark you don't have air and you don't have a breeze that comes through this solution really solves that problem you can see it's about 12 in the noon right now you've got natural rays of light coming through then right out here is a common bathroom so have a quick look there's even a shower over here and this will service that dance room over there so effectively making them all en suites let's go into this bedroom over here and this is something like a junior master bedroom i'm going to close out the door because i want to show you the entryway into the ensuite bathroom and the ensuite bathroom is pretty similar you've got mirror cabinet carpentry above and below the vanity top then in the shower something unusual is a specially put in long bath over here with square mosaic black tiles which makes it look super sleek then we're coming back out into the bedroom over here so each room has been set up with a study area you can see carpentry has been put in again the consumer of the wiring and the plugs over there you've got enough shelf space ac is above then you've got more than enough wardrobe space over here and i like how there is a little bit of laminate showing here for the handles we make it very ergonomic easy for you to open them up you've got cabinet overhead again a display window over here for you to put the needful then you just push this over here and you've got drawers that open up for you to put all your apparels and similar for these doors over here they just open up for more storage so then you'll be wondering why there are two layers again and this is the Australian brand Fasina screen that enables us to kind of soundproof the house. This is the bug free screen that opens up again and then on this level you have the balcony. You've got see-through glass over here that enables you to see right into the master's roof terrace. This here enables you to go all the way out here and have a nice breather it's a nice breath of fresh air when you're just coming out here to have a look at the open sky and you know change of mood then let's go downstairs okay now let's take the lift to level two you'll notice that over at level three there's the beginning of the lift landing and then there's a lift shaft over here very nicely done up so here we are check it out even the flooring is granite I'll see you downstairs. So if you've been enjoying this home tour so far, kindly smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more videos just like this. And remember to share it with your friends. So this is Eastern Elevators, has a max capacity of 340 kilos. It's a full-on hydraulic lift. That means you can house five people, not your typical 200 kilo, only three people can go inside lift. And now we're stepping into this humongous master. As soon as you come through, you find that you have a huge explosion of space. 
this is floor to ceiling is three meters then you'll see an exterior layer over here which is the foot of the window all the way up is 3.5 meters there's an exterior frame that expands even more into a 4.65 meters and that has a zip track blinds feature that enables you to drop it down for privacy and it will shade you from UV and the rain. So in this master bedroom alone, you'll see that ID has been completely put in, right? So you've got the feature wall over here and these are timeless cabinets with a modern contemporary look. Then you've got this dark tinted cabinets over here with a soft closing, you've got Four of them over there you got this play panel and then this is the tv that fits into the insert all these open up when you press them so these are all storage space for you press them in again and then you know they close up so they're very very beautiful you'll notice from this sliding door all the way to the wooden door over there is 6.5 meters long and the width over here is 4.3 meters which is very very wide you'll find that there's even a space for your king size bed and then you've got the armchair over here they even have you know a coat hanger that's already been put by the owner just by the side over here to illustrate what you can do so the master will come home just relax over here hang up the coat watch some tv you know wind down a little bit and then you've got the walk-in wardrobe space over here and it's all glass over here so this is a dark tinted glass with this very nice fine black handles like this they were going into the master bedroom master bedroom are long slab tiles and these are the similar finishings like the junior master above you even have another one of these which is you know uh, kind of like a half long bath over here and on the right side over here you've got natural light that comes through and what they've done because this is privacy right they've completely blocked this out with opaque film so you get the light but nobody can see through so now we're gonna come out into the hallway over here and you will find that this is how you're gonna get into the airwell and our owners have done up the fascina walls again we're gonna go outside over here and then you can see he's put in a little bit of potted plants come with me and check it out if you're looking up over here this is kind of like a courtyard within shop house kind of vibe you've got greens here you've got greens on that level which is a planter these windows are actually from the bathroom so you've got natural ventilation if you wanted to use this space kind of like a relaxed area you can really just put up chairs and tables over here and it will be beautiful if you wanted to you can even install a green wall and that will look perfect as well now let's go across the hallway and by the side over here is a common bathroom have a quick look now we are faced with two bedrooms to the left to the right very similar layout from the one above this one has been fully done up with carpentry it's built up into a home office this is the murphy bed which kind of folds out like this so you got you got legs by the side right for you to hold the base voila and it disappears into the wall fantastic isn't it so similarly you have almost a full window panel over here which is very beautiful window beneath and then two huge slabs going up then over here on the carpentry side you can see that they've done two kind of frames display frames that open up you got display led lights inside now let's go into the boss's office why i call this the boss's office is because it's a fully engineered office that is flush full with cabinetry along out all the way down into the master's office so you can see that this is office setup and this one comes with ensuite bathroom just like the other one again if you don't need all this office space you can easily collapse this wall in the middle and really join it into a huge humongous common bedroom because your average width is 6.7 meters now we are going down into level one and if you're coming down onto this stair landing over here you'll find it is very wide and majestic so as we're coming down onto level one you'll see that the ceilings are 3.3 meters high you have a demarcation of dining space so this is the formal dining id to the rear then you've got this Display cabinets, carpentry, and this is a very beautiful walnut shade display timber that kind of showcases the sophistication of the home. It's very slick, very timeless. All this is storage for you. 
right? Overhead as well. You've got a nice counter to leave your keys for you to head out. These are car key counters. Then you've got the beautiful grand entrance over here. Laminate running through. You've got igloo home, digital lock. Then this over here conceals the DB and all your Wi-Fi and the necessary. Out front is the living room and the living room is immaculate because what has been done is a lovely rectangle of space. You've got the AC unit just overhead, then you've got two middle strips of see-through tinted glass display panels with mode lights on the inside. There's an insert below and then the TV goes beautifully over there. Check it out. This is really a long and beautiful hall over here that enables you to just go out into the front porch via these doors. And this again is the Fasina doors coupled with this layer of buck screen. Then we're coming onto the front porch. You've got this lovely frontage over here that's 6.7 meters long. The gate turning angle is 3.2 meters and this is an automatic gate that kind of opens out like this. So you can easily back one car in to the side over here and then vertically just back up one car straight over here which enables you to park two cars. You've got a very lovely grey shade of marble lookalike tiles on the exterior. Then you're stepping up into this outdoor wood lookalike tiles which is lovely. If you're looking up over here on the canopy, there's already put in a white canopy to shade you so your car won't uh, be weathered away by the rain and the sun. Now let's go back inside because I want to show you the kitchen. So if you're coming through here, you'll find that you've got beautiful white marble tiles and these are huge squarish slabs that run across the hallway all the way into what is this L-shaped open kitchen where we have quartz countertop and this is a very beautiful shade of beige. Then you've got a white backsplash, white carpentry, you've got tikka hood, hob and an oven over here which is lovely. Then there is a powder room for your guests on level 1. Have a quick look. And an understair storage over here. Now let's go into the kitchen. So there's a very clean pocket door that tucks away into the wall over here. Then we're in the kitchen. The kitchen has large slab rectangular grey floor tiles and these are marble look alike. Then the consistency applies from the dry kitchen into the wet kitchen. White carpentry, you've got cream countertop sink. These are open gas burner flames and you've got a take hood over here, carpentry above and beneath. This is a fridge space over here. Then we're going out into the yard where you have a little bit of natural light. You can see that they've put out the canopies to shade us from the rain. You can really get a lot of uh, laundry done over here and we even have a laundry room. There's a door here that goes in. Let's cut through the kitchen again and I'll show you. Through this way is a full-size laundry room that's nicely tiled up with the tiles on the floor even to the wall there's consistency washer and dryer goes here you've got you know again the buck free doors that go over here that's one layer and then it extends into the helper's room which comes complete with the helper's bar so in case if it were to rain, there's even a Steigen drying system that's been installed indoors. And this is really a hanger system plus a drying system. So they really do emit heat and, and absorb moisture for you to hang your clothes. And you, you, know, you can fully control it via the remote control over here, which is very nifty. Otherwise, just push it out into the open backyard over here. If you come through this door, back onto the backyard, and if you were wondering about safety and privacy, this is a collapsible door that enables you to close up the space. And there's even a secondary consideration for bugs and pests, which is this collapsible net over here. This is very nifty. So let's talk about the nearby amenities and the convenience. For supermarkets, you have fair price at ITE Ang Mo Kyo, just 721 meters away, and then cold storage at Greenwick, one kilometer from here. You have Yuchukang and Ang Mo Kyo MRT within two kilometer radius, just beside Ang Mo Kyo Hub. We are also close to schools like Nanyang Poly, Qingsan, and Fernvale Primary, 
Anderson and Serangoon Gardens Secondary are all within 2 km radius. You have a bus stop just 400 meters away that will take you straight to Amokyo and across the city with these bus services. So if this feels like your next home, kindly smash that like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore, and we'll be happy to show the place. I'll see you soon. As soon as you come in, you are it's <laughs> for privacy, biro, 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 biro. It's tempered, 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 tempered. Fresh of breath, fresh of breath, fresh of breath. Oh yeah, hi, I'll do it. Lady, give me five minutes.